In the starting of next chapter Lin Shi wakes up Lin. Lin wakes up and says today is the day to go to Kanglin College and separate from Lin Shi. With that Lin gets ready and arrives at the bus station. Lin Shi was pretty sad. Lin says don't worry I will come back to see you. With that he starts his journey. In the next scene we can see Lin arrives at the Kanglin College. He says Kanglin College is really luxurious. The most important thing is beautiful women. An endless supply of beautiful women. Lin says, but the beauty can be seen later. My first priority is to report for admission. Who will the mentor be? Suddenly one man asks him, Lin? Are you Lin? Lin replies, yes, I'm Lin. What can I do for you? Listening to it, everyone rushes towards him. Everyone starts to convince Lin to become their student, even though they start to fight for him. One lady says to Lin, I'm the instructor Jang Lin. Why don't you come to my class? Jang Lin says, don't listen to them. It's a bunch of old crooks. As long as you worship me as a teacher, I will let you sleep in the best dormitory and later will give you special benefits. Lin accepts her offer and becomes her student. After that he went to separate dormitory, Lin was happy imagining the things that he thought it will happen there. But suddenly one lady calls him and says, You are Lin, right? My name is Xiang Qian. I'm also a student in Jiang Lin's class, so I'm your senior. I will be responsible for tutoring you. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter, we can see Lin was talking to Xiang Qian. He introduced himself. Xiang asks Lin, did Jiang Lin also promise you special benefits in the future? Lin says yes. Is there something wrong? Xiang says Jiang Lin has fooled you. He says Jiang Lin's nickname is the witch. Special benefits she promised you are really scary as hell. There's a good chance you won't be able to take it. Lin gets pretty scared. But he says, don't worry, sir. I don't have a problem. With that, they end their conversation. In the next scene, we can see Yang Yi is talking with his grandfather who is a senior elder of the Kanglin Academy. Yang Tu is complaining about Lin and asks for help to kill him. And his grandfather agreed. In the next scene, we can see Lin was relaxing in a bathtub. Suddenly Hong Yi appears there. Lin says, what the hell? Why are you always sneaking around? Are you living in my body? Hong Yi replies, yes. In fact, I've been living in your spiritual world. She says spiritual world is a space evolved by the soul which contains a combat aura called spiritual power. Lin says, so you signed a marriage contract with me and lived in my spiritual world. Hong Yi replies, yes, because my spiritual world has been broken. Lin says, in that case, let's go to the bridal shower. I'll channel my spiritual power to you. But suddenly someone knocks at the door. Lin opens the door, but no one was there. But suddenly a weasel enter in their room and tries to kill Lin. But Hong Yi helps Lin. After that, they tied up the weasel with the rope. Lin asks him, why did you attack me? Did someone sent you here? Then Weasel told him the truth that Yang Yi and his grandfather sent me to kill him. Also the system appears with options. Lin was getting generous reward if he let go the Weasel. So Lin untied Weasel and let him go and completed his task. But the moment he completed his task he catch the Weasel again and tied him up. Lin ties him up with a belt as a watchdog. And that's how the chapter ends. In the starting of next chapter Lin wakes up from the sleep. He looks towards Hong Yi and tries to touch her. But Hong Yi also wakes up. Hong Yi looks towards Lin and says, You look like you've gotten stronger and more handsome. Lin replies, That's true, looks like the cleansing pills are working, I feel so full of power. Hong Yi says, The energy of the marrow cleansing pills you ate is extremely high and with your current physical condition you're not able to fully absorb it. You need to strengthen your muscles and body in order to fully absorb it. I was able to help you unblock the power of the potion so that you wouldn't be in much pain. Hong Yi says a quick way to sharpen the muscles and the bones is actually to keep using external force to hit the body. The short title is beaten. It means Lin has to get beaten up to build external force. After that Lin went to his college. He met his teacher Jiang Lin. Jiang Lin introduces her other classmates to Lin. She introduced Murong and Ho Feng to Lin. Su Tang was also from the same class. Jiang Lin says to Lin, I investigated your information. I did not expect your father is Lin Yuan. You are actually the son of my idol. Everyone was surprised listening to it. Ho Feng says Lin Yuan was once the strongest psychic in Kanglin City. In the next scene, we can see everyone was gathered. Vice President of Kanglin College Shen Yang welcomes everyone. He announces some outstanding freshmen to come up the stage to receive their Kanglin Order Award. It was an award given by the college to best new students. Xu Junyu and Yang Yi received this award. The next student was Lin himself. And suddenly the system appears with three options as speak normally or speak arrogantly or give a positive energy speech. 
Lin chose the third option because the reward for it was five points to charisma. He went on the stage and says, I'm glad to get this award, but I think I don't deserve this. I'm just a useless stinky brother with low and useless powers. But even then Academy gave me this title. And I have to wonder at the greatness of the Academy. Everyone starts to clap for him and with that he completed his task. But as soon as he completed his task and got the reward he says it's all fake. With all due respect everyone here is trash. Everyone was pretty surprised. He talks so much shit about everyone. Everyone was angry on him but his classmates came to help him. But instead Lin disrespected his classmate. As a result he gets beaten by everyone. And that's how the chapter ends. The next day Lin still wants to get beaten up to build external force. But no one was interested in beating him. Lin was sitting hopeless but one boy says to him, If you are really brave, you can confess to one of the four school beauties M.O. Chinching. Lin says, Are you kidding me? I'm super brave. But Hong Yi was not happy. Lin takes out his phone and sends a message on campus chat group as from today onwards, Chi Cheng will be my wife. If you have any problem, meet me and hit me. I will always love her with my heart. No one was happy seeing that message. That's why everyone was approaching towards Lin to beat him. Lin gets scared. Chi Ching also saw that message and she gets impressed by Lin's bravery. In the next scene, we can see Lin injured. But suddenly Jiang Lin interfere and saves Lin. After the Jiang Lin informs him about spiritual spring. She says if you really want to harden your body. When the world's spiritual energy recovered, countless treasures appeared on the earth. Spiritual spring is one of them. You can understand that there are spiritual hot springs. It can help you improve your strength. You better improve your strength in next two days. The spiritual spring is open for a limited time. It's not easy for me to get the opportunity for you. So thank me sincerely. After some time we can see both of them went on the hill which is behind the college. Where Jiang Lin starts Lin's test. Lin trained all the day. At the end of the day Jiang Lin told Lin about his father. As she was a member of his father's hunter group. She told him that Lin's father sacrificed his life to save others' lives. Listening to it Lin gets motivated and says I will save this world. In the next scene we can see Yang Yi's grandfather is giving him order to a second year elite student Mu He. He offered him 1,000 spirit stones. The order was to kill Lin. And that's how the chapter ends.